Hello there, everybody. How's it going? I am Boy Name YouTube the Legends Comedy Baby today, and today I am playing as Garen in the top lane. We're against an Hecarim, and I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna try going for a Doran's Blade first. Because why not, right? Let's go aggro Garen mode. It might be an awful idea. It probably is, but you know, we're gonna try it anyway. Let's look at the teams here. We have Garen in the top lane, Nilly Jungle, Corky Mid, Kale support, Ezreal Jungle. Ezreal Jungle, I meant Ezreal AD Carry, of course, in case you couldn't tell. They have Twisted Fate Mid, uh, Master G Jungle, Lux Support, Vayne AD Carry, and Hecarim Top. So, nah, uh, every four seconds, your next attack against Chip steals that much health from the target. Interesting. Don't really see anyone with that one much, but we'll see how it goes. So, I am playing Garen. He's a top laner, he wields a large sword, and he has very large shoulder pads, which is how all warriors should do things. And I hope things go well. Who is he, who is he talking to? Is someone speaking? I don't have anyone muted. So, who, who is he talking? He has Thunderlords? Yeah, it scales with it. It does AD. It scales with AD. I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm going to aggro mode Garen, which is the reason I don't have the thing that makes you just take percentage less damage. But I'm still not sure. Still not hybrid. Why are these guys are like on Skype and are debating over my my? Listen, I don't play top often. I don't have. I didn't spit. You know, pick specific masteries and runes for this. I just chose it and went with it. And that's what we're gonna do. That's how I do things, and that's how I'm gonna continue doing things. I'm just gonna win it, and if it works, then it works. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't work, and that's gonna be just fantastic. So you can tell he's trying to get a little bit of a, a little bit of a trade off here. When he's kind of succeeding for the most part, but only so much. We're gonna go and do another Q on him, which is gonna do a pretty large amount of damage. Not really gonna be able to kill him with it, of course, but you know the possibility is there, and that's all that matters. And I'm going to miss that minion. I would like to let my passive do its regeneration work as long as I can. Especially since I don't have Dorn Shield to rely on anymore. So we'll try to keep that in mind. And when I have less minions to worry about, I'll probably go a lot more aggressive on Hecarim. Because of the fact that my Thunderlord's proc with the E is very easy to accomplish. And can work out very well. So it looks like he's going to let me do it right now. So that'll be the Thunderlord's proc. And we'll just kind of go away now. And since he doesn't have Thunderlord's... His damage output and well, the fact that he's just Hecarim in general will not be that big. So that's good. Looks like Lux getting two kills, but Kale also getting two kills. So that'll be some more damage off on the Hecarim there. Interesting situation we have so far. I do have Teleport, so I don't think I'll really be able to get a kill. Especially if he chooses to leave right now, which is very possible. I screwed up so badly there. Uh, I really, that was really bad. Missing the Siege Min there. I'm going to level up my E first because the overall damage output it gives by leveling that up first is very ideal. And we'll go and let him be there. You know what? I don't like you. I like you, Hecarim. Even though that was pretty much entirely my fault. I don't like the fact that he did that in general. That was very rude and I am um, displeased about it. So is it just being near champions? Oh no, it's just it'll stack up so the next attack he does against me will steal some health. I see, I see. It makes sense now. It's going to do some damage to him, though. And it's done not enough damage to the point where he might be a bit spooked to go back in, but that was not in fact the case. He went right back in and was not afraid to show his dominance, so good on him there. Is he going to go back? No. Who's their jungler again? It's Yi. Yi can very well be a problem because he can just flash Q on me, and that would be the end of that. So we need to be wary for sure. And it's annoying that Hecarim's W just pretty much removes my ability to have my regeneration go immediately. I'm also having trouble getting these minions. I want to at least get the Siege minion. We do also have this fella here. That was a very good spear. We can't follow up off of it, but it was it was still a good spear. So that's ideal. Level up our Econ again. Their passive is doing good work right now. Um, another spear being thrown, more poke being done. Still know where he is, so we still gotta be careful. And let's just go and dive because that is what the enemy wants to accomplish. And will I live? Yeah! Oh god, I'm so barely alive. I think nearly all she did was heal me, 
but I'm pretty sure that's all I actually needed, so good job on nearly four ganking there, because otherwise I would have died, probably. And next we will go Yomus, because I'm a wild dude. Yes, we're going Yomus. You can't, you may think it's a terrible idea. It probably is, but that's why I'm doing it, because we in in this country, the country Demacia is in the city. We do terrible things. All right. So what do we have going on the other lines? We have Ezreal building tier. Kale has two kills from the... Both supports are 2-in-1, which is pretty funny. Lux support in general I find to be just better. Especially since, you know, Lux can do stuff like that. Kale can't necessarily. But Kale almost getting a kill and then getting exhausted so she can't actually secure it. So uh, that was actually a pretty interesting situation. I don't know how, the, how that turned out. I'm perfectly fine with it. Concerned once again that I don't know where he is, so we're going to play some ward. I might miss this CS because of it, but at the end of the day, my overall protection seems a little bit more worth it. We are losing to in CS, which is not ideal. And whenever I, I use my Q, so I should be a little bit more wary. Can I get this? At least I can. Put our W up so he doesn't do much damage here, and we will proc the Thunderlords as well, and the Q, and do a couple more autos. And geez, that was a really long engagement he did. If I was level 6, I could have just straight up killed him there, but... Sadly, that is not the case. Okay. It's likely that he's going to push this wave up and then probably leave. No, he's not leaving. Interesting. What is his, what is his plan of action, then? I do not know. Oh, God, I screwed this up. I screwed it up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to miss, like, half of those. That was pretty bad. I should have waited to use the E. So, pain the Hecarim is gone. A bunch of times, and he is indeed very much gone and in the mid lane. So, is there somewhere I can teleport? There is. What? Wait, why did Hecarim flash away? I understand why Nelly flashed away, but why the heck did Hecarim flash away? That was that was very strange. But it's good to know for sure. Maybe we can like sneak up on him here. It's possible. I know he's going to be like waiting in the bush there, and I was a teleport there for some reason. And there is indeed the Hecarim once again. We're kind of wasting his teleport. Well, that'll be that. Um, maybe we can kill this Twisted Fate, only I don't think we're necessarily needed. So instead we'll just kind of get some minions because we went all this way. And then kind of keep an eye on Nidalee, who seems to have her blue under fire. So let's go see if we can assist her with that. And the Master can be flashing away and then going back in. You gotta make up your mind, man. You gotta make up your mind. I guess I'll go after this jokester instead, and I shouldn't need to use my ulti. I did not need to use my ulti. Now let's see if we can go after anybody else. Doesn't look like it's gonna be very successful, so we'll just go back now. And actually, I wanna kill like Rift Scuttler. Because of the fact that I'm close enough to gold to where I can almost get Caulfield's Warhammer, but not close enough. So we're gonna work on doing that. Well, I can like try to kill this person instead, which is may not be as good of an idea, but I have to try. I have to try. There's also a vein. I spent so I'm trying so hard to kill all these people. Okay, I guess we'll just depart now. Oh geez, now the Corky's here. Use the ulti. We got the kill. Flee, flee. Kale died for a good cause. That was a flippin' insane dive, but it worked somehow. Alright, I'm gonna leave before this gets worse than it already is. That was an interesting situation. I'm gonna head top because my turret is rather low on health, and I wanna go top to actually get all that CS because it's a lot of delicious, delicious CS that I prefer does not uh, get lost. So we'll use our E here just to deal with all these minions. Hecarim's damage is not necessarily a bow. I'm doing bad at gaining the CS, I will not lie to you. Hello, Hecarim. So is he going tanky? He went Swiftness Boots already. Probably not an ideal call from him, to be honest. We're going to do a bunch of damage to him, and he's like, uh, just going to use his ult to run away. All right, then. <laughs> I don't think he understands how spooky my power actually is. Like, I'm a pretty spooky man with a spooky sword, and he, he needs to be more aware of that. I'm sorry, Mr. Garen, or Mr. Mr. Hecarim, but it's just something you have to be aware of. Hmm. Could maybe dive him, but without my ultimate, I don't really want to take the chance, so I'll probably just hold off for the time being. Though if he gets a little closer, I will try to do a little bit of a trade with him. Yeah, he's at like half health now. If my ultimate comes up and he's still like around that much, I will definitely go in on him because 
I feel like it would be the ideal course of action because he would probably die because I am a strong Garen. And as you can see, when you do level up your E first and not your Q, you're, you know, you, you are a very strong person. You are a very strong person. Your Q, of course, is tempting because it has that initial burst of damage and, of course, the silence duration increases. But unless you're Garen jungle, your E is usually going to be the right call. Or if you, that silence is just really, really valuable. I guess I'll just uh, silence that minion instead and then slash it upside the head. And I definitely see that man. Oh, but there's also the Nidalee nearby, so we will maybe try something here. And he's just going to ult away. Alright, I'm just going to let him be now. But hey, we may use his ultimate. That's an easy thing. And I don't know if I want to just let him have the Rift Scuttler, though. So I'm going to continue this chase. This is our Rift Scuttler, and you're not allowed to have it, Master Yi. Thank you very much. And that vision's very useful, and we can't just let him have it for free. Is his blue up? No, it isn't. It looks like Neely's just kind of checking in his jungle, which is fine and dandy. And once again, Neely looks like she's considering a dive. Don't know if she's actually going to execute the dive, but she's definitely considering it. And now we have Master Yi in his jungle once again. And Hecarim is finally being really defensive. You know, he's kind of been unsure this whole time, but... And that will be an easy enough kill. Nice and easy. I've seen easy too many times, but Neely... I'm honest, honestly, I'm pretty impressed. Her score may, may not be superb, but she has a really good, you know, really good, she's really good at laying those spears, and I'm, I'm happy about that. I am definitely way too weak and not tanky enough to for diving that individual. The individual knows Master Yi, so and I will just kind of actually we will not bail because I would really like to get that siege me if at all possible. So we'll cue it and let the E do the majority of the work, and then we'll just miss the our main. I think I've missed like all the siege mains, but I've been getting most. I, have I gotten any siege mains? I swear I've been missing all of them because I'm bad. If so, I I'm sorry, but there you go. I got Yomu's now, so we can be very speedy. I mean, yes, we will go swiftness boots, and now we will go. Hmm. Trinity Force or something, or Black Cleaver. Let's just go Ruby Crystal, and we'll think we'll think about it when the time comes. I think our team tried diving Lux again, but it didn't really work out for them. So they should probably reconsider doing that. And Master Ego and Swiftness Boots, which is an interesting choice. Are you gonna, are you gonna recall Lux? You need to make up your mind, because if you, if you don't make up your mind eventually, then what are you gonna do with your life? So, and we are, Corky's also doing pretty well for himself as well. Let's paint that Hecarim is M-I, and she might be... I say she, I, I, I called Hecarim a she. Hecarim is certainly not a she, and I shouldn't have to ward, but I have an extra one, so we might as well. And now we'll just uh, let the E do do its normal business of just slaying the mini wave. Of course, that's another very good thing about level up Garen's E first. His judgment is you clear waves extremely easily. Oh, okay. You okay, game? My pain didn't budge there, but all right, that was interesting. A little bit of a pain spike, not too happy about it, but that's okay. And yes, Hecarim is in fact does in fact have a resort to going something like Randuin's now. So poor thing. Let's kind of hold off here. He went a little bit too close, so we'll just kind of go over to him with our E and show him a thing or two, and then ulti, and probably that'll make him depart. Yeah, I had a feeling I wasn't gonna get the kill, but it was close. It was close for sure. All right. I have Yomu's available. Oh, he's the nemesis. He is the nemesis, so he does not want to fight me at all. We will pop our potion just in case, though. And then just continue putting pressure on this turret. Now, they might have to send both people, but honestly, that's okay. Or that he can go back. He might teleport, though, so I do definitely need to be wary. He did teleport, so I'm going to back off a little bit here. And he's not going to go in on me, which is not surprising. He got his chain vest. That's not going to do anything to me, though, because I am a very, very spooky, uh, spooky man. So, I have two big things. I can, I can go Black Cleaver or Trinity Force, because I really want that movement speed bonus that it gives. I don't know which is better. I would think, I'm pretty sure Black Cleaver is better, plus it gives me, I mean, well, they both give health. I guess is the whole thing about this, is they both give health. Hmm. I want to teleport here, but it doesn't, yeah, I don't actually need to. If I did it earlier, then it actually would have worked out, but it, I, I couldn't have, so that'll be the end of that. And now we'll just uh, kind of do some nonsense there, and I'll make him go away as per usual, and we might be able to kill him because of the Yomu's movement speed boost, and oh, what the heck, wait, did he flash? It looked like he flashed backwards and then ulted. I, I don't actually know what entirely happened there, but 
you know, we may have used his ultimate and his flash either way, and we barely got away, which is uh, disappointing, but what are you going to do? It's really cold in this room as well, which just makes the entire situation that much worse. But hey, I'm okay with it. Continue going about our business in the top lane. We when you know, we had our business in the bottom lane once, and that's about it. But the rest of our team is doing well enough. You know, Cork is doing pretty well for himself. Nidalee's doing Nidalee is just straight up a good Nidalee, and that's that's always a rarity, just to be entirely honest. Clear the warrior means. Do I have an opportunity to teleport here? I would, but there's no like there's nothing to actually teleport to. Um I think I'm just gonna walk. Yeah, I'm just gonna walk. I can I could potentially teleport to because the thing is I only want to teleport if I if it gives me a kill. Alright, you know what? Let's teleport. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do anything else at this point, but it'll definitely make it so they can't do dragon just by us being here. You guys stay away from this reptilian creature. You hear me? This reptilian creature is ours. God, they really should have placed a ward. If they just placed a ward. I would have been able to go, I would have been able to teleport in the middle of all of them and I've done great things, but they didn't, so what are you going to do, I suppose? Let's go back and I suppose we'll work on securing our ruthless black cleaver and see how that works out for us. Then we'll head up top and hope that our turret doesn't die, assuming Hecarim chooses to go out on it, which indeed he is. So, well... He can't necessarily yet because there's a large minion wave, but I'm going to go top because if I do help Dragon, then my turret probably will go down. Because Hecarim himself is too weak to have a reason to roam, so he'll probably just try to stay top. And that will be that. Hello, Hecarim. I have returned. Hopefully you missed me. If you didn't, then I apologize. And then we'll try to do some damages. We did get the Thunderlords procced at least, so there is that. And then we'll just start slashing these minions with showing no mercy whatsoever. It's annoying that the silence went off after he used a Z, but... I mean, that is more, more my fault than anything, but hey, it's not like the Yomu's cooldown is long, so I, I don't think it's that bad. Our Q also has a silence of 1.5 seconds now, which, unless I had that before, I'm pretty sure the silence scales, unless I, ju I just hovered over to twice, because doesn't, doesn't it end at like 2.5 seconds or something ridiculous? I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll find out in due time, I'm sure. We can kill siege minions with a single E. No surprise considering how much how flipping strong we are at this point. And also Master Yi is our is uh, our nemesis, so let's just uh kind of do some damages here and use the ultimate. And that'll be double buffs for us, nice and easy. He cannot escape us because we are Garen, and we are an unstoppable Garen as well. So double buffs Garen. As if Hecram didn't have enough trouble, he now has to deal with me having double buffs. So he's probably pretty displeased about that. I can probably like 1v3, okay, maybe not 1v3, I could definitely 1v2 anyone at this point, I'm pretty sure. Probably not 1v3, though. I also can't dive Hecarim, sadly. Let's go and pop our W there so that turret shot doesn't actually do as much damage. And since Hecarim's pretty much not going to leave his lane ever, I might as well just roam mid and see if I can get something there. And that will be the silence and the kill nice and easy. Full, da full damage, Garen. is just absolutely insane. And there we go. Is there a red buff up there? We don't have a reason to take it, but we have an option to take it. So can I? I cannot. Let's leave then. Black Cleaver is ours. Oh, yes. Yes. How wonderful. How flippin' wonderful. We have Black Cleaver. Master Yi looks like he's in a little bit of, little bit of a situation. The Nilly and the Gorky were in fact in his jungle. And he used his Q on the minion, so he didn't really have a way out. Even though if he had his Q up, he probably wouldn't have had a way out either way. I'm gonna press tab rap tab rapidly because I like the tab button. I press tab way too much. But to be fair, it's it's because of situations like this where I'm not doing anything and it gives me something to look at and examine how the game's going. So if you ever wonder why I'm I press tab so flipping much, now you know. We also have Mr. Duck Chief over here. Um, I wish to speak with Mr. Duck Chief, if at all possible. And that will be him going away, so we'll just go and clear this wave instead. Couldn't really have done a whole lot there, because if I Yomu's, he would have gotten his E off first anyway, so I decided there wasn't really a huge benefit, so there you go. And there we, I go saying, like, the same word 10,000 flippin' times in the same sentence. What do we have over here? What do, what do we have? We have a Gromp. Don't burp at me, mister. If you want to, you know, if you want to say those kinds of things, you say it somewhere else. Oh. 
Oh, maybe. Oh, look how much damage he did to me with his Namacon yellow card. He did like 100. How oh, flippin' wonderful. I feel so proud of you, mister. And then by that, I mean I don't like you at all. Displeased about it. That's Hecram. Hecram, you know, he deserves a break. He deserves a break. Everyone else here does not. I still have yet to kill the Lux, I'm pretty sure. Wait, or no, wait, I killed the Lux early. What am I talking about? Okay, no, not a good idea. I thought there was minions there. I was mistaken, so let's just bail. Um, oh, there's Hecarim. Almost killing the Kale. Lux Ultimate also almost killing the Kale. And maybe we can just uh, do some stuff there. And oh dear. Oh dear, that's a lot of them. I was stunned that entire time. <laughs> it wouldn't have mattered if I saved my ultimate because I was stunned that entire time. Which is upsetting. No death Garen is not going to be apparition. But to be fair, I mean, I'm full damage Garen. I'm not necessarily tanky. All I have is the health from Black Cleaver. I have 80 runes and masteries and everything. So, yeah. And to continue this absurdity, let's go ahead and build... Hmm... Mercurial? Because of situations like that? I'm thinking Mercurial sounds pretty good. It sounds pretty silly, so we could go Mercurial. Let's go Mercurial. Let's go Mercurial with Scimitar. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We can also go Frozen Mouth. I mean, either way, we need a pickaxe, so... There you go. Full damage, Garen is continuing his onslaught. I think I'm, I think, I think I'm gonna go Frozen Mallet, actually, because that at least gives me a good chunk of health as well. So we're gonna go and hold off there. My cold, my hands are cold. Who's screaming? Who's screaming and why are you screaming? Why is there like a scream from the ether? Is that, is there like a thing that blew crack there? I don't know what that was, but it was scary. I hope whatever scream there is okay because, you know, it sounded like it was in pain. Nope, oh, the file of science is 1.5. Seconds. Huh. I guess I'm just a dingus then. 1.5 seconds. To be fair, it's still really long for a silence, because silences are like the most annoying thing in the game, which is why they removed so many of them. You know, Cassidy used to have one, and uh, LeBlanc used to have one, now it's like, what, three champions have one or so? It's like Fiddlesticks, and, ah, uh, Fiddlesticks, Garen. There, there's one, there's, there's another one, right? There's another one. We can probably, um, die. Yeah, we're just gonna die. I can't 1v2 them. <laughs> I'm not nearly tanking enough to afford 1v2ing them. I may be getting a bit over my head at this point. But hey, I mean, I still will do a lot of damage to the to the Hecarim. I just, uh, got over my head either way. Hmm. Well, Lux tried doing things, but sadly it was not to, not to be, not to be fruition. Oh, but then Kale immediately making a bad mistake and dying very easily and then just... <laughs> Getting destroyed. That Corky damage was absurd. I mean, it is a really squishy, twisted fate because he went Namacon. But God, I can definitely see why why twisted fates are going Rod of Ages because it really gives him the tankiness that he really, really needs. Because he doesn't honestly need the CDR that much. Hmm. Well, we'll teleport top because it's a lot of minions that, as per usual, I do not want to miss. So that'll mean Hecarim will vanish into the mist and we'll go ahead and get all those minions aside from one that did escape our grasp. We have 172 CS, so actually Corky is, is, has the most. If anything, Corky's doing better because he also has assists, but at the end of the day, I'm, I'm a top laner. So, you know, I'm just going to keep to my splitting nonsense because I can afford to do it really easily. I don't like you, Mr. Ward. I think our team is going a bit, in, a bit insane. It's fine, I suppose. You know, as long as they acknowledge the fact that they're insane, then that makes everything just just dandy. There we go. Go ahead and get these two minions, and then work on getting the turret, and pop our Yomus just to make it go that much quicker. Ah, dear. Hmm. I will go in on this vein, and then see if we can get the kill. Stop sending so many people after me. You're making this so much more difficult for me. Ah. I wish they would stop. Like, I'm not happy with what they're doing. And we don't even siege to win. You know what? We probably, like, could try sieging to win. It's probably a good idea. That, that way I'd stop dying. My score is going to start looking worse and worse because I keep getting double team and triple team. I like it better when it's just me and my buddy D Duck Chief. But now, now everything's ruined. Do I even want Yarm's Fist? I can't really do anything else with it. 
I already have the Ruby Crystal. Unless I want... Well, I need it for Titanic Hydra as well. Do we want Titanic Hydra? Sure. Why the flip not? You know, we changed our mind. We have Titanic Hydra now. Alright. Let's continue our absurd build that makes, like, some sense. And, I mean, it makes sense up to... It made sense with Black Lever and Yomus, I, I think. Now, I just, now I'm just absolutely insane. Oh, God, there's a giant energy ray. I'm dead now. Okay. Lux. Hello, Lux. May I speak with you, Lux? Hopefully. I'm pretty... I, it's, again, I can so easily assassinate someone, but... And what can I say? They're doing, they're doing good with the wards. And, you know, as long as, as long as they're doing good with the wards, I can't necessarily do a lot. But Corky is also just an absolute maniac doing a bunch of damages. And now Ezreal's getting killed by a bunch of people as well, so the absurdity of this game continues. Can we, like, siege it all, though? Do I want to... Do I even want to defend that top turn anymore? I, I, I mean, if I can avoid it and just get, like, a mid-turn I have instead, then I will. But I actually think Hecarim's just going to go back. So, no, he's not going back. Is anyone else going to go back? There's Twisted Fae and Lux. They have, it's really hard to get to any of them because they have the Lux... The Lux stun and a lot of so many other absurd things. So he could probably not flash there because of my silence, which probably made him pretty not happy about the whole situation. Pretty not happy about the whole situation. Could probably ward that better. Oh well. Let's see how well we can do with slaying this large barren creature. I'm not necessarily a tank, but we, you know, I can still try to fulfill the role if at all possible. Oh, wait! Ugh, just kill her! Okay. I don't even care if she isn't the fed one. I I saw an opportunity, and I flip and took it. Ow, ow, ow. Oh! Ugh, kill her now! Alright, we killed her now. Uh, can everyone afford to kill this Baron, this guy nice and easy? Yes, we can. There we go, there's the triple kill. I wasn't even looking at how many kills I had, but hey! The full damage game was not the, prior the main priority of them. It was probably Corky in there, the 80 carries, which to be fair, they are also strong, but it's still pretty silly how that turned out. Boop, boop. There we go. I'm afraid for Master Yi. How strong is Ezreal? Ezreal's pretty strong. He has Iceborne and Mur Mana now, so I feel okay about this. Is he actually going to try going in here? Okay, he isn't. Oh, no, there. Okay, now the Vayne's here. I should be a bit more afraid about the situation now. And she's going to condemn me away and make it so I don't really want to go in anymore. So we're going to go Titanic Hydra. Pretty much a last minute, like, change of thought there. Ezreal probably stayed longer than they should have. Because I'm pretty sure he didn't actually leave. We have Titanic Hydra. And now we should just go... We should probably probably go tanky. Let's be, let's be honest here. So I'm going to go Sunfire. More damage at this point is just not really useful. And... You know, no one else in our team is a tank, so I'm gonna just, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Unless I change my mind once again, I sell this Ruby Crystal and get like a BF sword, which is possible. You know, I won't be full damage Garen if I don't have full damage. Which, I mean, is this full damage technically? Because these two items do have health, so, you know, that's up to you, I suppose. But, either way, you know, we're full damage Garen. I say we're full damage Garen. Get over here. Get over here, you flipping fools. Oh jeez, oh jeez, okay, you know what, you can leave, you can leave Hecarim, we don't need you anyway, um, just, just auto, just, just, just auto him, there you, there you go, on oh, the Kale Ultiman, just in case, wasn't needed, but just in case, the Kale Ultiman did happen, what a, what a good friend, what a good friend, doing that, doing that Ultiman, how, how flippin' dandy, let's, uh, work on securing ourselves a turret here, while they work on securing the inhibitor, uh, there's actually a Master Yi there, but let's find out. Look how much damage I'm doing to this thing. That's so silly. That is so flippin' silly. Uh, yeah, you better run. You, you didn't run enough! Ugh. Ugh. Fine. If you don't want me to have my fun, then I know that's fine. Yeah! Main target secured! Can we escape the vein? I believe so. We're not going to stop to kill that ward because I'm not falling for the bait as much as as tempting as it, as it is. So instead we'll just leave. And 
go for an item next. What item, you might be wondering. Oh, that's a wonderful question. I'm glad you asked. Well, I think we all know what's going to happen now. Now's the time where we say screw it. And you know what? Just go for it. Just go follow your inner self. And build... Um, build Mercurial Scimitar, like we originally wanted to. Where's... Sim... Scimitar. Oh, it's Merc. Merc Scimitar. Mercurial Scimitar. I understand now. So we'll go that, and then we'll go... Merc, and we'll build the Quicksilver. Will I actually, you know, remember to use it? Eh. Maybe, but... It's nice to have it. I should probably maybe place it a bit higher... In my in my numbers, but I won't look at Hecarim over here. He actually went training force. That's not allowed at all. Oh, he's the nemesis. He's the nemesis. Okay. You god damn it! He's too fast. Why does he have to be so fast? I I just want to slay him, and and watch him die and see the nemesis damage. But he's not letting it happen. Just in case. Just in case he's in here. He isn't, that's, that's not surprising, but the, the chance was there. We're gonna quickly push this lane before we help with the Baron. And now that that's done, we will go assist. If anything, by assist, I mean we'll try to kill anybody, which is unlikely. No. No point using Quicksilver there. I only really want to use Quicksilver. It helps me from, like, not dying or something. So, there we go, doing a bunch of damage, and that will be... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Well, I died. That's just a shame. But hey, everyone else should die. Oh uh, no. Team, you disappointed me. They're so close. They're so close. The spear, the dodge, the auto, the auto, uh, the kills. There she is. There's the Lux. Is she going to succeed in this and living in this mortal coil? She is. And then she's going to get a... Oh, never mind. He just, She just got absolutely destroyed. That was beautiful. Most beautiful. Silly. 12-4 damage. Look, look at this build. So many colors. There's too many colors in this build. Quick. Quick. Avoid the evidence. The evidence is gone. There's no defensive items there. The evidence has disappeared. Um, yeah. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to like, comment if you have anything fantastic to say. I'll share and subscribe if you haven't already. It leaves a warm fuzzy feeling in my heart. Even still, I mess up my outro. Uh, that was full AD Garen, or full damage Garen, rather. Hopefully you enjoyed, and have a great day.